So another farm project we've been putting off for a couple years is this whole flatbed trailer that we haul some light equipment with and mostly hay. It has had abysmal breaks since we've had it. And it's one of those things where we have to go through, Roger and I next, we gotta update the lighting, which it's missing most of them, the side lighting. So we have new LED mounts for lights to go on the full length of it. And we'll weld those on and get those mounted up. We have all How new decks to- bail Oh yeah, we finished up the bail grabber earlier, didn't we, buddy? That thing works awesome. We're loving it. We just gotta get a better job of tying the hydraulic hoses back. And it works great, doesn't it? It's pretty awesome. So we gotta put new tires on since he's got some pretty well through the seam dry rot cracks. We got new brakes, new lights, and we even got some stick em reflective tape to put back on it. Eventually I need to redeck it, but that's another year's problem. So brakes are the challenge this for this year and lights. You ready to get going, buddy? All right, let's do it. start reassembling things. I cleaned up the hub and the wire wheel, put some rust stop primer on it just to keep corrosion down. The Dexter brake kit is pretty nice that we picked up but welcome to buying things online it did not come with all the hardware needed. So here we are trying to figure out I want to shorten bolts can get away with what we're using. What well, I have to do. Some that in the middle. It's far enough away from things, I don't think it's gonna matter. So, you self adjusting brake shoes are listed per side. So this is a right hand one. So that's pretty easy to know that this goes on this side. The wires that way. There are three it's fine thread bolts. I had to go to the hardware store and pick them up since my kit did not have the bolts in it, just had the nuts. Which is useless. Well, So we're working on the trailer project and replacing the hubs and the worn out brakes. And when you buy a new hub kit, it comes with bearings that are not packed. So the easiest way to get without the tool, if you don't have a packing tool, is to take, unfortunately, grease in your hand. Probably shouldn't have done it in my ring hand, but. And what you do is just get it started. And if you mash it into your palm, it will push through. And you can see where the grease is actually pushed through into the side of the bearing. And we just work around the whole bearing that way. And it doesn't take very long. And you can actually preload the whole bearing with grease. 
It's a old, the old school way before they made the good little bearing packers. And you can see where the grease squishes through. And there's a spot which didn't get enough yet. You just go back till it squishes through and you work your way right around the whole thing. And you do that for both sets. And that pre-greases the bearings for install. So if you look at these two brake shoes that we just took out, the one on the left over here has literally no shoe um, pad left. The one on the right is almost completely worn out. And there's the reason why we had no brakes. And besides that, the adjuster that actually activates them was frozen solid on both of them. So they couldn't even turn on. So brakes were toasted. So we're throwing those brake assemblies. The new one's on. And the hodgepodge hardware that I picked up at the local store. A 3 8 fine thread. Since my Amazon kit did not come with the bolts like it's advertised. It still shouldn't end if you're really anything. We will still link these kits for you guys on Amazon just because with parts being crazy the way they are right now, sometimes it's impossible to find the perfect kit, but just be aware that it does double, seem to be missing things. Just double check <laughs> and I'm sure they'll refund the hardware. Yeah, the specific kit that we got just happened to look like somebody had stolen the hardware out of it. So we've pre-packed the bearing and we have the proper bearing seal now. So we're gonna go ahead and I wish I had a proper driver, but we're gonna take it easy with a big flat hammer so that we don't have to hit too hard. <laughs> Found a tool, did you? And we're gonna see. I pre-greased where the bearing sits. So it should drive really easy. There it goes. The joy of having kids is there's always a never-ending distraction kicking our end. I'm just going to get the flush. Mm -hmm. Alright, she's set smoothly all the way around. We got the bearing packed on the inside. We got the bearing seal set. We've got a little bit of extra grease packed in there. And we're ready to set it on the brake assembly. So we're going to grab this on the outside so we don't get grease on where the brakes go. I've already pre-greased the shaft with the bearing set, so we just got to carefully that ruin that seal, slide it right up and on. And there's that shelf the seal sits on. Now I'm just carefully working that seal past, try not to damage that seal. There she goes. Just give her a little spin. Nice. So. I've already pre-packed it, and I'm just grabbing it up here off the rag I had it stashed on. So we got the outer bearing pre-packed and greased, so we can get that wiggling. Oh, don't tell me that has a fitment issue. <laughs> oh, great. Alright, let's see if we can grab that back out of there. It should slide. I should have tested that. Let's slide over to that front shaft for a second. The side room over here with the camera. Make sure that it actually fits. Oh, it does. All right, I just didn't want to go through all the effort of getting that seated on there. It didn't actually fit. There we go. Perfect. So, after you get the last outer bearing on, get in my hand so I don't get grease on too many things. We have, what I gotta clean up real quick and re-grease with the new stuff is there should be a washer that goes against the bearing. And then we have the retaining nut that goes on the outside. So cleaning this up, getting the old grease off. All right, nice. Getting this cleaned up.
not dire, but just trying to get it halfway decent looking. All right, good enough. Grab a little of the new grease. You can definitely say the side was going against the spinning side. Actually, that's probably the pin side, but it doesn't matter. All greased, slide up against, we put our nut on, and then it's about torquing down the bearing. And they have pretty specific instructions on how to do it online. So, I'll grab a adjustable wrench. I'll be right back and we'll go about torquing down that bearing. So once you get your brake assembly and your bearing and hub assembly on, we have to torque this bearing down. So what you want to do is we're going to slowly take it to maximum setting and while spinning it so the bearings can actually see. And it should turn pretty easy. And we just keep tightening it up tighter and tighter and it will snug up and eventually it will get pretty dang tight. There we go. Let's finally get some force to it. One more time. And it's called preload. You can actually do it fancier with a torque wrench and do 200 foot pounds of preload or what Timkins is online is I'm pretty sure 200 foot pounds. But the old school way is to just take it to max so she struggles to turn, which is what she's doing there. You back off fully. So she turns freely. And then you just turn until she just starts to bind, which is right there, just starting to. And then we back off one quarter turn. So the hole is straight up and down. So if I start off on square, one quarter turn, that's almost square. We'll be just shy of 90 degrees down which if I didn't jump back and off, would be right about there. And let's see how much slops in there. Oh, more than I like. So we're gonna do the eighth of the turn method, which is what I use on the big chargers. So let's torque it back down and we'll do an eighth. Well, I think. That is a cool tool, buddy. What's a little hook? Got a hook built in, doesn't it? Just starting to drag. All right. Our parts of the brakes that are dragging in there. My bad. There we go. That's not the brakes dragging, it's actually the bearing backing off. One eighth of a turn. Let's see how she comes now. Slight drag still. Back off to a quarter turn. My problem was I didn't have it a, initially at a tight enough. Oh, that feels pretty beautiful. Awesome. So, to get the lock out, unfortunately, I'm going to take it back. That quarter key should go right straight through. So, grab my new quarter sweat pin here. I think this is the same size as the old one. It is. We'll have to trim it in length in a minute. It should fit down through. A little love. Alright, turning it just a hair back again. There we go. Starting to come through. Nice. So this quarter pin is way too long. We'll trim it down, but that gets us. A torque down wheel bearing, new brakes, new hub, new bearings, grease packed, ready to hit the road. The only thing left on the whole assembly and then functioning brakes is just plugging in. It doesn't matter what the orientation of the two wires in the back that activate the brakes. And other than that, we have a functioning brake system, which is pretty cool. So the last step for installing these brakes is going through and actually wiring it up. So I had the original two wires coming to the brake assembly and I am just, wow, trying to strip 
insulation on them. There we go. Oh, nice aluminum wires, apparently. Nice. So, we're stripping them off. We're gonna go through. It doesn't matter on the order with these electronic brakes as long as power goes through and turns the magnets on. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna put one of these sealable butt splice connectors in. So we're gonna slide that onto there. Oh, and my boy's already got one on it for me. Joy of having kids that like tools. So he's already got one already into the pliers. So we'll slide it right down in. Set the crimp. Back off. Come across to the other one. The other side. Grab one of these. Slide it on in. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nice. So there's one set of wires connected. You back up a second, son. Just want to see how it's done, huh? So, we'll slide. That wire is cut a little long from the factory, but eh, as long as it goes in. <laughs> We're coming there, buddy. Yep, we'll get you water in just a second. So then, we just turned on our heat gun onto high. I'm knocking the dirt out of it the boys put in it. Hopefully it doesn't ruin it. <laughs> and the nice thing about these sealable heat shrink marine grade, that's why it's nice there's is it does do a nice job sealing up so you don't get moisture in there and throwing up the wires. tell when it's sealed because the bubbles actually come right out of the butt splice connectors. And you'll start seeing some of the silicone sealant bubbling out the end. There, the sealant bubbling out. And done. Got to cool on. So there's the wired up. So we have our power. I'll make sure I zip tie it back so it doesn't get ch chafed on. And we're pretty well done. So we'll save you guys the boring details of putting this on, but glad everything lines up and looks good. We'll get my impact gun set up. All these things are on. Alright, so we're We're just doing that preload again. We're just loading up the bearings, spinning, getting to that 200 foot pounds, roughly, where it's supposed to stop the tire from spinning, right there. Nice. And then we're gonna back off again. Come back. We're just taking it. To the point of those bearings start to drag. Right there. Just starting to hammer more. Yeah. Back off. One quarter turn. Should be close to there. I should spin freely. Have no wobble. Nice. And that is precisely done now. <laughs> if I can get that little hole lined up, should 
Let's be here for right Started a small earth moving business behind us. No. <laughs> no. There we go. So all I'm gonna do is come down here and trim this off the tin snips, which are the proper tool for the job. But work and reach in with a screwdriver see if I can split those two nice grab the top out fold it right up and over no. wow. nice bottom one can stay down grab the new bearing cap Well worth reusing. Check, check. Move out of the way. Nice. Oh, great. Now you have grease all over your fingers. Oh, it's on his vest. Well, too late. All right. That is awesome. Thank you.